If you're watching this video now, then, well, that means the video has not yet been removed, but you only have so much time to watch it before it's likely removed from YouTube. Over the past two weeks, we've learned that BMW and Toyota are more committed to hydrogen vehicles than we thought previously was the case. However, this comes right at an interesting time. Many industry analysts are now saying that hydrogen is finished, whether that's for long haul trucking or just normal cars, it's not going to work. And the other thing that's just happened is this. Nikola's hydrogen powered trucks, which have been obviously used by big businesses, are catching fire. And unfortunately, it just keeps on happening. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. It's great to see you. Thank you for tuning in. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Now, remember, this is the same company that they famously towed their electric truck up a hill and then let it roll down a hill to make investors um, and basically potential purchasers of this vehicle believe it was real. And it wasn't. Um, they had to tow it. So it was just obviously using gravity to move, not its own power. However, that was back in the days of Trevor Milton, who was the famous CEO of Nikola and claimed that the company had an electric Badger pickup truck, which was far better than Tesla Cybertruck or any other electric vehicle ever made before in history. They claimed that they had amazing battery technology, which never existed. And apparently what really was the case was that he was making this up in order to inflate the price of Nikola's stock. In September, 2020, Trevor Milton resigned from his position as executive chairman after enriching himself to the tune of hundreds of millions of dollars. That was right after the US Securities and Exchange Commission and Department of Justice began investigating claims that Milton and Nikola committed securities fraud. In July 2021, Milton was indicted by federal prosecutors on three counts of securities fraud and wire fraud and released on $100 million bail. In October 2022, he was found guilty on three of the four counts. Sentencing has been delayed until the 22nd of September 2023. In other words, Milton is about to find out how long he is going to be in jail for. Now, the company claims it's changed its ways since Trevor no longer became part of them, and they've been able to produce a compelling hydrogen pickup truck, which they have a lot of orders for. However, another Nikola truck has caught fire in Phoenix. This is the fourth fire incident involving Nikola trucks in just a couple of months. The company though insists they're still safe to drive. Now remember, a battery electric vehicle, if it catches fire, it can be catastrophic, absolutely. Obviously with the liquid electrolyte that can burn very, very quickly. But a hydrogen powered fuel cell truck that is literally a bomb. And that's where the real danger here lies. The risk is much, much greater. In June, the Phoenix Fire Department confirmed that five Nikola semi trucks caught fire at its headquarters. So clearly, as you can see, the Phoenix Fire Department is using these trucks and five of them at the one fire department have caught fire. The situation was bizarre because the company was quick to tell the public it believed foul play was involved in the fire. Seems Trevor really maybe hasn't retired after all, but it didn't have a lot of evidence to back up the claim. Because it was a vehicle on the scene, clearly someone lit these five hydrogen powered fuel trucks on fire in order to hurt the company. I think that's a little bit ludicrous, but what are your thoughts? Let me know in the comments. Now, unfortunately, this came amidst other problems for the company. Nikola had a huge battery defect in the modules produced for the company by Romeo, a battery supplier that it purchased last year. Last month, Nikola ended up recalling 209 electric trucks that it had produced over a battery problem. At the time, Nikola refused to completely disavow its claims of foul play um, but it stated that a coolant leak was the probable cause of the truck fire. Foul play caused by a coolant leak. That's um, quite a, a convoluted idea. I'm not really convinced that anyone would be smart enough to figure out a, a way such as coolant leaking in order to cause these vehicles to catch on fire. At the same time, Nikola disclosed a second battery fire incident 
And then earlier this week, another Nikola truck fire was reported by Arizona Lithium at its facility in Temp, according to Electric. Electric says that today a fourth fire incident has occurred on top of the five and four of the others, and who knows now, I'm losing count. And once again, this took place at Nikola's headquarters in Phoenix. Neighbors of the facility contacted Electric to tell them that their Nikola truck was visibly on fire at the facility. Here's what Nikola had to say. On Friday, September the 8th at approximately 8.30 a.m., there was a thermal incident with one engineering validation battery electric truck near Nikola's Phoenix plant headquarters. No one was injured. The pre-production truck was outside and undergoing battery fire investigation and testing. We thank the Phoenix first responders for their quick action. We will share more information as we learn more. Now, it's been a few days since then, and I don't believe any more information has been shared. So maybe Nicola hasn't actually learned anything else since the truck uh, spontaneously combusted. Now, that means there are four separate fire instances involving Nicola trucks, and it appears as though maybe there's 20 or more trucks that have actually caught on fire. Like I said, I've lost count of the number, and I'm going to guess that there's probably others that we don't know about that haven't been spoken of because the public, the company doesn't make this information public. And why would you? Now, the problem herein lies that this means that around 10%, possibly more, of the vehicles Nikola has produced have set themselves on fire because the company has only got 200 vehicles on the road. 20 out of 200, that's 10%. Could be more than that. Could be 20%. No one truly knows. Nikola's stock price jumped to 66 US dollars on the 19th of June, 2020. And I remember making videos telling people, warning them not to buy this stock. And I remember there being comments on my videos of people saying I was wrong. It was the opportunity of a lifetime. This was your chance to make many millions of dollars if you could just, if you could just see the potential. Electric Viking, you're just not seeing the potential. Well, today, that stock price has fallen to a low of 88 cents from 66 US dollars. As far as I can tell, that's the greatest stock collapse in the history of the NASDAQ. But I could be wrong. Maybe there's others that are worse and I just haven't done my research. That's very possible. And then we do have, of course, VinFast. VinFast stock has dropped pretty quickly as well, but it hit a high of 82 US dollars on Monday, August the 28th, it's now at $17. Clearly the price fall of Nikola is substantially greater than that of Vinfast. And here is the biggest issue. These truck fires are not small. In fact, nine of the trucks so far haven't been able to have the fire extinguished. They've burnt the entire truck to ashes. They've been incinerated. I don't know of any deaths at this point in time, fortunately. But that is an extraordinary number. In fact, that's more than 4% of all vehicles they've produced, which have completely incinerated themselves. Now, Nikola have issued a recall notice, and it says you must leave your vehicle outside to get better connectivity for over-the-air updates in a way to try and trick owners of the vehicles that they've actually sold. And the reality is they're not telling you to leave the vehicle outside in order to get over the air updates, they're telling you this so that your house doesn't burn down, your factory doesn't burn down, or whatever facility you're putting your vehicle inside doesn't burn down when the truck inevitably burns down. Now, maybe it won't, but it does seem like their track record suggests that there's a damn good chance that it will. In Nikola's actual official announcement that they are recalling all of their electric trucks over a potential fire risk with batteries, well, they say this, Get better connectivity for over-the-air updates by parking your truck outside. Obviously, they're just trying to save you from uh, being incinerated to death by parking your truck outside and not for over-the-air updates. Anyhow, all of this leads me to one conclusion. Nikola will cease to exist within 24 months. This will be the first guaranteed bankruptcy of what might be considered a major automaker, if you can call them that, that has actually produced electric trucks. It's actually sad to see them go. I mean, really, Nikola once were the big talking point of the industry. Many people thought they were legitimate. Many people took them seriously. But I believe that people who really took an interest in finding out what was going on at the company knew this company was simply a house of cards. Now, good chance that this video will be removed from the internet because, um, well, that's what happens when you post videos that companies don't like. It's happened to me before. 
and I've gotten copyright strikes as a result. They kind of try and get you banned from the banned from YouTube and kicked off. Hopefully that doesn't happen. You never know. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.